After a strong lull in the hurricane season, it seems like we could be getting some strong hurricanes again. Checking out the latest graphic by the National Hurricane Center, in the Gulf of Mexico, we currently have a 60% chance of a tropical cyclone forming in the next seven days. This system is a large threat in this area right over here as it could rapidly intensify into a hurricane next week. And then we also have a strong system coming off of the main development region right over here. Looking at the forecast tracks over here in the Gulf of Mexico, so you can see the system right here. These are all the predicted tracks for the system. Some are showing it uh, be relatively weak and not even develop into a tropical storm. And then others are showing it become maybe a category one at most. So over there is where you need to be alert for the Gulf of Mexico system. Also coming off of North Carolina, we have a subtropical system. Uh, that is relatively strong, but it is not a tropical system. And then coming off of Africa, we have this wave that's actually at a good a latitude. If it does shift more north, it will not have access to warm waters. Uh, so it probably won't develop if it is more north. Uh, but the further south that it goes, the more of a threat that it poses to the land. And the more likely that it will become a hurricane. As you can see, some of the tracks taking it south show it as a hurricane. But the ones taking it north show it as a depression or a tropical storm, maybe not even developing. And then we were just looking at the American ensembles, now at the European ensembles. As you can see, we also have that system in the Gulf of Mexico right there. This is showing it a lot weaker, only one model predicting it to become a high-end tropical storm. All the other ones showing it maybe not even developing. So we'll definitely have to see about that. And then we also have this wave right over here, very defined wave coming off. And once again, only showing one or two models showing this become a category one. Now it is peak hurricane season right now. Today, peak hurricane season. This week is the peak hurricane season. So anything that does form obviously has a chance at becoming a major hurricane. And looking right over here, these are our sea surface temperatures. So as you can see everywhere, it's, it's hot, it's hot. It is uh, capable of producing tropical storms. I will have a video out later today on why we haven't had that many storms this season compared to what we predicted of a apocalyptic season. But one of the main reasons is the area is actually supportive off the coast of Africa is a very skinny area of waters. But then basically the entire North Atlantic is uh, capable of producing a, a hurricane. And then where 91L is, uh, our invest that we're talking about in the Gulf of Mexico, that has the warmest waters currently in the Atlantic. So that'll be working its way up over here into the warmest waters. And then this is a product I like to use more than sea surface temperatures. It's ocean heat content. And uh, basically anywhere where it's yellow, it is um, supportive of strengthening a system. Uh, and anywhere that's red, uh, rapid intensification is definitely possible. And this little area where it's pink, I don't know what's going on there. I think all the fishies, uh, they might have... Uh, suffocated but you can definitely see the gulf of mexico is supportive of strengthening a system and the caribbean is supportive of rapid intensification the gulf stream is also supportive of strengthening and the southern parts of the north atlantic are also capable of a strengthening system let's check out what some individual models have to say so don't take any of the tracks serious this is an individual model uh, and there's thousands of other outcomes. But this is the GFS, so let's see what it says. So if you keep your eye in the Gulf of Mexico, let me zoom this in. So over here in the Gulf of Mexico, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, winds coming down. As we have multiple systems right now, actually one is connected to a front. And then we get this tropical system start to develop, but it also hugs the coastline of Mexico. Um, and this is showing it become a strong hurricane, actually. So uh, definitely not out of the question that this could become a hurricane as it is peak season uh but this is just one run it has a thousand other ways that it could go and then looking at the west atlantic we can see our waves coming off of africa um and it's wanting these to develop actually but they should stay away from sea that is for sure uh the pattern is definitely not supportive of anything hitting the east coast see what the european model has to say about our african waves so as you can see it has that wave right there but it kind of fizzles out and then the other wave that the uh, GFS is showing is showing that as well, but it's very weak right over there. Just like 19 knots of a little tropical low. And let's see what it thinks in the Gulf of Mexico. So it has that little low pressure system that's currently attached to a front right now. Um, and then actually it shows nothing happening. So as I said, there's a thousand different possibilities that could happen. Uh, this is one of them. Nothing happens at all. So that is what your tropics are looking like right now. For any official tracks and probabilities, definitely look at the National Hurricane Center. 
and I'm currently making a video on why Hurricanes have not been able to develop this season, so that should be out later today, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.